On this episode of the Demon Diaries, we head up to Sonoma Raceway to TFB Performance to strap our 2018 Dodge Demon to the dyno and answer the question that everybody always asks. How much power does it actually make? Well, we're going to find out because not only are we going to test it on 91 octane, but we've also installed the Performance PCM from the Demon Crate, so we're also going to find out what it makes on 100 octane race fuel. What do we want to find out with this test? Well, here's the thing. I, I've seen a bunch of Demon videos online where they strap the car to the dyno and the power ratings are kind of all over the place. The problem with that is, as an owner, I don't know what the parameters were, right? I don't know any of the information. So, for instance, I don't know if the car was broken in properly. I don't know what the altitude was. I don't know if they were running, um, you know, 91 octane fuel or 100 octane fuel. I don't know if the PCM from the Demon Crate was installed. There's a whole bunch of factors that we simply don't know. Therefore, I've never been able to get a sense of, well, how kind of authentic and true is that video? That's why we're doing this. When Dodge released the performance numbers of the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 that lives inside the Demon, the world went a little crazy. We're talking about 808 horsepower and 717 pound-feet of torque on 91 octane and 840 horsepower and 770 pound-feet of torque on 100 octane with the performance PCM. And while that's all fine and dandy, the only way to really find out how much power your particular car makes is to strap it to the dyno like we're doing today. As I'm sure most of you know, there are a lot of different factors that affect the dyno output of the car or what the numbers are actually going to be, right? You've got stuff like the DA, the density altitude, you've got humidity, you've got the barometer, you've got the temperature, you've got a whole bunch of different factors which I don't want to say can skew the numbers of a dyno, um, but they can definitely affect it. So for instance, we're going to be in Sonoma in Northern California and we're basically going to be at sea level, whereby if somebody was doing something you know, up in the mountains of Colorado, the numbers would, would be pretty drastically different. What equipment are we using today? Well, we're going to be running the car on a Dynajet 224X. Every pull is going to be done in six gear and the car is going to be in drag mode. So as you can see, the guys behind me have strapped the Demon down to the dyno. This way, when they hit the gas, it doesn't go shooting through the door. Now, before the car goes for its first run, we've kind of made some predictions. Now, keep in mind, the first run is going to be on 91 octane without the performance PCM. This is basically as you would purchase it from the dealer. Now, our predictions are 727 and 702, or between 727 and 702 rear wheel horsepower, and between 645 and 723 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheels. You gotta think of it like this. A stock Hellcat makes 707 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. Now, that's at the flywheel, not at the rear wheels. I'm hoping that this thing on 91 octane makes that type of power, but at the rear wheels. So, I wanna introduce Ed Lee from TFB Performance. Now, Ed's one of the top techs here. I've worked with him in the past, and he's the guy that actually strapped the Demon to the dyno, and then he's putting it through its paces. Now, we saw the numbers for 91 octane. What did you think in regards to, before I tell everybody, what did you think from what it made as opposed to what it makes at the crank? I thought it was going to be at 700 just because a lot of um, companies, they tend to overshoot it just to fluff up numbers, right. but I was surprised of how close it was to what their predictions were. Now on the dyno, on the standard 91 tune, we put down 722 horsepower and 647 pound-feet of torque. Now I did my handy dandy calculations on this thing, which results in a 10.6% horsepower launch and a 9.7% loss in torque. Again, 727 and 647. That's pretty good. That's a lot better than I actually thought. I thought we were gonna be more in the 15% driveline loss. Um, but the fact that we're kind of 10 and below 10 is pretty impressive. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill this thing with race gas, um, hit the PCM button, put the 840 tune in it, and dyno it again, see what it's going to make. So we just ran the car on 100 octane, and I have to say that the results were pretty impressive, no? Yeah. Okay, so 
Just to give you an idea, on 91 octane, we did 722 horsepower and 647 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheels. Once we bumped it to 100 octane and we used the PCM tune, we went to 749 horsepower and 692 pound-feet of torque. That's right in that kind of 10% range that you factor in for driveline loss, right? And that's, that's really at the low end. I mean, you got to figure 10% to maybe 15% or so is kind of standard. So that's a pretty good gain. I mean, we're talking about 27 horsepower and 45 pound-feet of torque on a car from the factory. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. When we started this episode, we wanted to prove two things. How much power did the Demon make at the rear wheels and how much torque did it make? And we did that. And surprisingly, the numbers were right in line with what Dodge had said within that 10% driveline loss. You know, we're coming away from this really happy because we know we broke the car in properly. We know that every step that we took was kind of by the numbers and the end results were exactly where we wanted them to be. So with that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Demon Diaries. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to the House of Muscle channel by clicking below, and we'll make sure you never miss a new episode of the House of Muscle.